you are probably aware that our global population, the total number of people living on our planet, is increasing. Estimates from the United Nations, our UN, suggest that as of late 2018, there are approximately 7.6 billion people living on Earth. That is a lot of people. The UN estimates that each year there are another 83 million people living on Earth. By 2030, it is expected that the world's population will increase to 8.6 billion people. By 2050, this will become 9.8 billion people. Population estimates assume that annual fertility rates, which are the total number of children born to each woman each year, will continue to decline. This means the number of mouths the food system needs to feed is growing, and increasing populations mean more pressure on our food systems. Where people are living is changing too. Our global population is becoming more urbanized. Urbanization is the percentage of the human population living in urban areas, in cities or in towns, rather than in rural areas. For decades, the world's population was predominantly rural. According to the United Nations, in 2018, 55% of the world's population lived in urban areas. By 2050, the UN estimates that 68% of the world's population will be living in urban areas. Most Western countries, such as Australia, the United States, Canada, the UK, and Europe, have had high levels of urbanization for many decades. Asia and Africa remain the least urbanized regions in the world, despite experiencing a doubling of the share of their population living in urban areas between 1950 and 2014. The growth rate of urbanization in these regions is expected to continue, and by 2020, more than 50% of Asia's population and 40% of Africa's population is expected to live in urban areas. From a food system standpoint, as urbanization increases over time, more people are living in cities and towns. Consumers are less connected to production agriculture and farmers, and their understanding of where their food comes from may decline. With fewer people living in the rural regions where most of our food is produced, we also have to wonder about who will be growing and farming our food in the future. So why do we care about urbanization when we talk about food systems? Well, that question brings us to our second macro change in the socioeconomic environment. Increasing disposable incomes are purchasing power of households. 